Hello, so good to see you in person. I'm Bridget Thorne. I'm a former nine-year precinct manager. I have undergrad and master's degrees from Georgia Tech. I'm a software designer. I have repeatedly tried to work early voting, but Happy Faces just doesn't seem to respond. It's puzzling. When poll techs were hired, I reached out to Dwight Brower and Sharon Whitmore to see how I could get hired. Dwight said he couldn't help me. He had no control. He could only give me the number for happy faces. They didn't respond. So I had to go to the subcontractor directly to get hired. Puzzling. Last fall, SOS was threatening Fulton elections with huge fines if they had another disastrous election. According to the Carter Jones report, when the election warehouse staff had to be quarantined, the SOS offered to send trained qualified staff and Fulton elections declined their offer and brought in unqualified, untrained, 100% minority, happy face employees. Puzzling. I found this March 2018 AJC article on Stacey Abrams and a company she co-founded called Now Account. Now Account secures companies' debts who have government contracts. Abrams owns 16%. Now, isn't it interesting that Now Account is registered as the only secured party provider for happy faces. Now account provides the line of credit. You can see the connection is listed here from a simple UCC search. Interesting. In the last meeting, Barron said, I don't know how they recruit. We aren't in charge of the recruitment process. He also said, if you have names, we can get those names to happy faces and we can recommend them. With the purse string connection of Stacey Abrams to Happy Faces, 15 seconds. you must ask, does she have influence on who gets hired to work our elections? Can she or her activist groups also recommend employees? With Happy Faces working 100% of early voting, ballot adjudication, absentee ballot processing, warehousing, Dropbox, signature verification, they're basically running our elections. Shouldn't we know who they are recruiting? Shouldn't we know who they are? Could an activist group have a special connection and ability to work our elections while veteran poll folks like me are shut out? Thank Stay you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you.